So as I, as I was saying before, the the member association have the responsibility to monitor all what the clubs that are under them are doing. So if they are following the expected regulation or not, they ought to always uh, check. Then as I mentioned, the ITC is International Transfer Certificate. It's expected that a player cannot be registered at two associations at the same time. So what it means is that if a player who was formerly registered in Nigeria is now joining another club in Ghana, then they should deregister him from here and move his registration to Ghana so that the history will be there that, okay, at a time he played for Nigeria till, till October 25th, then on the 26th of October, he started a new career with the Ghana club. So that is the essence of the ITC. Okay. Also, the association has the responsibility to enter the training category of the clubs that are affiliated to them. Remember, I shared with you yesterday that the training category determines how much that a club will pay for training. Uh, maybe if they sign a player, how much they will pay for uh, the training compensation. So, and it's actually determined by the amount they invest in in their club. So the amount they've invested over time is a determinant of how much they will be entitled, uh, they will be paying those that are entitled to training compensation. Okay. All right. 252. When creating a transfer instruction, club shall indicate if the transfer instruction uh, refers to now. Uh, there are basic things that is required from clubs according to the material you are studying. Uh, when they want to upload a transfer instruction to transfer a player between themselves and any other club, the instruction will include if the player is a professional or an amateur. Okay, the status of the player is very important. Then also, they will state whether the player the transfer is permanent or alone. And also, they will, they, it's either an engaging or, uh, or they are releasing the player. So the language spoken by the player is irrelevant in a transfer instruction. Okay? Uh, there's no need to put, uh, okay, this, uh, this uh, player speaks Alsa or Yoruba. It's not needed in the transfer instruction for a player that is moving from one club to another. All right. So the correct answer there is uh, B, C, and, and D. Now, the training and education of a player takes place between what ages? Between the ages of age 12 and 23. Sometimes you might see this kind of question and they will say between the ages of age 12 and 21. Take note, please, that 12 and 21 is only considered when training compensation is being paid to clubs. So the training usually takes place between 12 and 23. That is why when they are paying solidarity mechanism, all the clubs that have trained the player from age 12 to 23 are considered. But for training compensation, they assume, or will I say, the regulation states that the training must have occurred between the age of 12 to 21. So uh, that is the difference. So if there is a, ask a, a straightforward question like this, take note that the training of a player occurred between the age of uh, 12 and 23. Okay. Uh, Two five four. The training compensation shall be payable as a general rule up to the age of twenty three for training incurred up to the age of twenty one. Just as I said before, so as a general rule, uh, they will always pay. So, for example, if a player join a club 
and uh, uh, he moved from one club to another within the age of 23. All the clubs that have been training him, if they have not received training compensation before, they will be paid. Okay? So, uh, the options are valuable. They say the exception of which a training compensation will not be paid is if it is evident that the player has already terminated his training before the age of 21. So the right answer here is C. And I shared with you yesterday that the proof for this is, for example, a player that have represented his national uh, team in the Senior World Cup, for example, such a player is confirmed that such a player have already completed his training. So if a 18 years old or 19 years old player play for his country at the World Cup, it is confirmed that such a player has actually completed his training. So in that case, training compensation will not be due to the former club in that instance. Okay, so the answer for 254 is C. All right, 255. I said payment of training compensation is due. When what? What happened? I shared with you yesterday that payments of training compensation is due whenever a player is registered for the first time as a professional or when a player is moving from one club to another, especially clubs that belong to two different associations. So what it means is that, for example, a player in Chelsea, okay, let's assume now, let me give you a real life a. Uh, uh, scenario for example say a player joined Chelsea at the age of 18 and Chelsea paid training compensation to all the clubs that are trained him from age 12 to 18 and this same player is now leaving Chelsea to Arsenal at the age of 22 Chelsea will not receive training compensation from Arsenal because both of them are in the same association Hope that is clear, sir. Okay. Yeah, because both Chelsea and Arsenal in the same uh, England association, uh, Chelsea will not receive training compensation. But be a movement from one association to another before yes. compensation. Exactly, paid. sir. Exactly. So, for example, if you see a question that the two clubs are in the same association, there will be no training compensation due to the former club. There will be no training compensation due to the former club. Okay. So, and also, training compensation is not dependent on a transfer fee paid for a player. So, for example, a 18 years old player see at his contract and he, he refused to extend his contract with a current club and he went to go and join another club in a different association. That club will also pay training compensation, even though he's joining that club as a free player. That so, statement again. Okay, uh, let me go with it again. A player that yeah. his contract has expired and he now moved to join a new club, especially if it's of a different association, the new club will pay mm -hmm. training compensation to the former club of that player, so long the player is within that age bracket. So what it means is that, oh. let's say an 18 years old player, he has a contract with uh, uh, a club, a Czech Republic, and at 19, he saw at his contract, his contract expired, and he went to join a club in Sweden for free. There was no transfer fee, but though he was still 19, so on signing that contract, the Swedish club will pay uh, training compensation to the club in Czech. Okay, so even though okay. the player is joining for free, there is still training compensation. Ah. Yes, sir. So it's only solidarity oh. that is, determ is, is determined by uh, transfer fee paid. Okay. So training compensation okay. is due whether they pay transfer fee or not. So long the okay. of That's the point yeah. to note. Transfer fee or not. Yes. Training compensation is paid. Yes, yes. So long okay. the condition Thank is you. met. And the condition is that the player 
is less than is moving at the age of 23 or below. Okay, that's the major. Yes. Uh -huh. And also, the player is not reacquiring an amateur status. And also, the player is not joining a Category 4 club. If the player yeah. is joining a Category 4 club, there will be no training compensation. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, in, in question 25, uh, the answer now is uh, A and B. A player is registered for the first time as professional. And also a professional is transferred between clubs or two different associations, whether during or at the end of his contract. Okay. 256. Payment or training compensation is not due when the former club terminates the player's contract without just cause. Now, let me explain this. Sir. For example, a player is contracted to a club and the club fail to pay the player his wages, treated the player unfairly, and they were hoping that, okay, uh, we don't mind, you can go and join any club you like, we don't want you again. So what this regulation states is that if that player go and join another club, even as a free player, the former club that terminated his contract with that just cause will not be entitled to training compensation because they didn't honor their contract, so they shouldn't be compensated for treating okay. player unfairly. So a former okay. club that terminates the player's contract without just cause will not be entitled to training compensation. Then All right. a B part, a professional requires a martial status. As I shared before, a, a professional mm -hmm. requires a martial status, there will be no training compensation. And also if the player joined a Category 4 club, Will be no training compensation. So if a player who was professional before now and then now move to join a category four club, then automatically there will be no training compensation that will be due to any of a summer club. So the correct answer for 254, uh, 256 is uh the former club terminates his contract. A professional requires a martial status and also the player is transferred to a category four law. All right. 257. Uh, a training club is entitled to receive a proportion of the 5% solidarity. That's the first question we had this morning. In the following cases, A, a professional player is transferred either on a definite or a loan basis between clubs affiliated to different association. B, a professional player is transferred either on a definite or loan basis between club affiliated to the same association, provided that the training club is affiliated to a different association. C, an amateur player is transferred to another amateur club. A training club is not entitled to receive solidarity contribution. So in this instance now, the answer for uh, 257 is uh, one, uh, when a player is transferred, as I said before, either loan or permanent, solidarity will be due, especially if it is with different association. Then also, if a professional, for example, now, the same Chelsea uh, example I gave, if that player that left Nigeria to Chelsea is now leaving Chelsea to Arsenal, uh, what the law says is that the training compensation will only... Apology once more. MTN is just... Hey. MTN is showing himself. <laughs> okay. Now, as I said before, in 257, the... The training compensation now, which is the 5%, as I said, any amount paid as a, a transfer fee, 5% will be set aside to be shared for all the training clubs. So it will be due in the following cases, A and B. Okay? A and B. A professional player is transferred either on a definite or loan basis 
between clubs where a professional player is transferred uh, between uh, 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 alone or definite, provided that the training club is affiliated to a different club. Okay. 258. Article 6 of NS4 of the RSCP applies to professional player registered uh, registration of a player when a former club is based in. Like this, this particular article, I want us to go through it so that you have a little bit of understanding of it. Okay? I want us to go through it. Let me stop this one and open it. Okay. Okay, so this is the RSTP and as for what we're about uh, explaining to you now is uh, an S4 paragraph 6. I think that's all the questions say. Uh, paragraph 6, okay? Okay, this is this with uh, training compensation, okay? He said, for players moving from one association to another inside the territory of the EU and EAA, I think I shared this with you yesterday, the amount of training compensation shall be established. You know, and I told you that it's an average, if you remember. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now this question now is relating to this. Now say which clubs, which country are considered? Okay. Which countries are considered? So let me just uh, think you remember this. I think we shared it yesterday. So we say which country mm -hmm. are considered in this instance. Now, if you look at this question very well, uh, first, Turkey, uh, England, they are not part of the EU and EAA. Even Switzerland is not part of it. Okay. If you see the list of countries, the only country that is this particular registration will be applicable to is clubs in Norway and Italy. Because England have actually left EU through their Brexit. Uh, yeah. is not also among Switzerland is not also among so the only option here that is correct is Norway and Italy okay now 259 this one I will allow you to answer it too so that let me see if you understand this uh, solidarity it says Ibrahim has signed for Red Dragons of China from Green Rangers FC of Uganda for 1 million USD. His player's passport indicates that he was registered with Blue Academics in Uganda between the year of his 17th birthday and the first half of the year in which he turned 18. How much is the solidarity due to Blue Academics? Sir, I want you to calculate this. Let me see if you understand this uh, solidarity. Now. Maybe I'm not in the laptop, so maybe you call the figures for me. The uh, okay, the, the options here 
is 5,000 USD, 10,000 USD, 7,250 USD, and 7,500 USD. He transferred at age what? 17. Yes, no, he, he, he trans they didn't really mention when he transferred, but the transfer fee of 1 million USD was paid. But he trained with these blue academies in Uganda for a 17 and a half of age 18. 17 and a half of age 18. Okay. Okay. He trained. Yes, that means the club trained him for one year and a half. Okay. Uh, 17, that is 10 plus a uh, half of it uh, is 15. Yes. 15% uh, of uh, the million. No. I mean of the 5%. Exactly, exactly. Percent of the five percent. Mm. Five percent of the million. Yes. Is that clear? Is that correct? Yes, five percent of a million. Yes, sir. Yes. The the, the, the one year ten percent, and then the half is five percent. That is fifteen percent of the five percent. Exactly. Of yes, the million. Sir. Yes, you understand the question. Yes. How much is yes, it? Thank you. I don't work, I have not worked it out too. That one I will calculate now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just okay. be. Uh, the, you know, 50, the five percent first is fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're looking at fifty percent of fifty thousand. Mm, that one is calculation. I'll just leave that one. <laughs> Uh, you do it. even they say you should use calculator there. No? Yes, you can carry calculator, but this one is a bit basic. Now let me just help you so that you can you can maybe next time. So five percent mm -hmm. of that one million is fifty thousand dollars. So let's say for age for age seventeen is ten percent, which is five thousand dollars. Ten percent of fifty thousand is five thousand. You know, for age 18, will also be 10%, another 5,000. But now they say half of 18. So it will be divided by two. So the amount due is $7,500. Okay, $70,500. $7,500. That's 15% of 50,000. Yes, mm. yes. Fifteen percent of fifty thousand dollars is seven thousand five hundred. Yes, sir. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the next question. The next question we have here is. Uh, Talent FC is a small club whose main objective is to develop young talents. The club is located in a region immersed in economic and social difficulties. As a result, the club is having a lot of trouble finding the financial resources it needs to run a football academy. Champions FC is an established club that is constantly on the lookout for new talent in other countries. And Champions FC have decided that it could partner with talent in this endeavor. As part of its strategic objective, Champion is offering talent the possibility of securing financial support in exchange for a very specific service. It will offer a first professional contract to the young talent chosen by Champions regardless of whether or not the selected player belong to his squad, choosing by champions, okay? When the players sign their first professional contract with young talent, automatically young talent will transfer this player free of charge to Champions FC. Now, if you follow me very well in this story, 
What Champions is trying to do is to circumvent the rule of paying training compensation. So they mm -hmm. want the player to first sign for a Category 4 club. Then later on, the player will not be sent to them. Because they know that if they sign the player directly, there will be training compensation that will be demanded from them. So what they do is that they look for a lower club that uh require that requires some support so they say okay take this player sign this player professionally then after you have signed a player you now transfer them to us so this particular uh, practice breaches the fifa regulation so the question is do fifa regulation allow this type of agreement the answer is this no. only article 5 bis of the rstp prohibit this conduct Okay, so the answer here is B. It prohibit okay. this condo because this is a practice of breach transfer. Champion mm -hmm. says he don't want to pay any fee, so they want to make sure uh, they get a player for free. Okay, I think that is uh, all the question I I prefer for us to share. So I don't know if there are any other question you want to ask uh, for today. Oh really? This network has been on and off today. So yeah, but I recorded this night. section. I recorded it immediately after now. I will upload mm -hmm. it on YouTube and send to you. Thank you. I think uh, I don't have them ready here now. I, I think what I, I had, I we discussed it yesterday. Okay. But this this issue is a for this training compensation period training. Is 12 to 21. We discussed 12 to 23, but compensation is paid for 12 to 21. Exactly. Exactly. But training up to 12 to 23. 23, what happens with 23? This this difference, I want to get it clear. 12 for to 21. You mean for training 12... compensation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 12 to 23 for solidarity. No, solidarity is all through the, year. the career. Yes. And then the compensation, what is the difference between this year's category, 12 to 21 and 12 to 23? Okay, perfect. Now, all the club that have trained the player from age 12 to 23, the training compensation mm -hmm. is due. They will only consider the club that have trained the player from age 12 to 21. Okay. That is the first consideration. Then 23 came in in the sense that the player, the training compensation will only be due if the player is moving from one club to another on to the age of 23 birthday. So if the player oh. exceeds Maybe he moved to another club at because you know training compensation is only 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 paid when a player moves from one club to another, either they pay transfer fee or not. So now, if the player is twenty four and he moved from one club to another and he has been in a club, for example, from age uh, let's say age seventeen to twenty four, before he now sign a new club, there will be no training compensation because he has already passed the age of twenty three. Training compensation will mm -hmm. only be paid when that player move maximum on the age of his 23rd birthday. But those that will be entitled to training compensation are the clubs that train that player from age 12 to 21 only. But that money will only be due if the transfer happens between when the player is 23 years and below. Similarly, he has exceeded the age of 23. No training compensation will ever be paid again. Okay. Yes, sir. So 23 is just the barrier date. Yes, yes. So, uh, so okay. You this period, that one training... compensation. Okay. Yeah. But compensation will be paid for only those that train the player between 12 and 21. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice. I think we can.
Thank you. Good day. All right. So you let me know your schedules next week. Let's see how we can see capture more ground. I will still be free within these hours, and if you can choose, you just let me know. Okay, I will let you know because I have a class by eleven a.m. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you Thank always. You. Thank you. I will send you the yeah, recorded Thank you for for guiding me. I really enjoy your lessons. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. One day I'll come to worry just to see you. My <laughs> other brother once worked in Warrior at Alaja there. Eh, okay, okay.